or its greatest stimulus came with World War II with the need for uh, elaborate calculating machines to calculate fire control and ballistics missile problems. And uh, so the earliest computers were um, uh, spawned by this need of World War II to uh, uh, devise mechanical analog computing devices. And those uh, were immediately obsolete at the end of the war and became freely available to anyone who wanted to buy them. I bought them and turned them from swords into plowshires in the sense that I bought them and, and turned them into uh, designing machines. John Whitney Sr. is considered to be the foremost pioneer of computer animation. Whitney's adaptations of World War II computers were motivated by a desire to create abstract visual patterns that would move with the freedom and fluidity of music. By connecting computer-guided motors to both film cameras and still artwork, Whitney devised a way to control 360 degrees of incremental movement on four axes. Some years later, Whitney began creating imagery that was totally computer-generated, but his motion control techniques soon became the basis for much of the animation in television and motion pictures.